Okay, welcome back to our program here at GNN. We also have with us Katrina Zapanta, who is the International Marketing Officer of the New Zealand Immigration Health Service Limited. And they have an office here in Naga. Welcome, Katrina, to our program here on uh, GNN. And uh, I'm glad that you are with us. Maybe you could also tell us, uh, but tell us more about the company that you're working with. Okay, be before that, um, thank you very much, yeah. Mr. Fred, and to all the televiewers yeah. of GNN, uh, TV48. Um, I'm Katrina uh, Zapanta, the International Marketing Officer of NCD Immigration Help Service. So basically, what does uh, NCD Immigration Help Service do? So we are um, an immigration consultancy mm -hmm. catering for all visa applications for those who are wanting to go to New Zealand. Right. Now, um, our main, probably one of the advantages that we have is we have a main office in Auckland, mm. so we really know what is really happening inside New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, for those who are from Bicol, we have an office here in Bicol. Okay. So, primarily, you give advice to those who want to go to New Zealand. Yes. And uh, perhaps they want to study or let's say immigrate, uh, sort of things, no? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, what is the procedure if, let's say, someone would like to go to New Zealand and wants to study, how do they have to, you know, what are the things that they need to, um, to do and how can your office help them? Okay, so um, our, our office basically caters to all types of visa application, so as simple as visit to as complicated as migration. Now, when you go to the office, we initially evaluate your qualifications we sometimes we let them submit um, a copy of their resume to the office mm -hmm. or most of the time we tell them to go through what we call a consultation with one of our licensed advisors. Now the difference uh, of our company with others is we do have um, a licensed immigration advisors mm -hmm. wherein these are, um, you can be sure that we are man mandated by the Immigration mm -hmm. New Zealand and um, if ever there's um, a problem with your application, this is for your protection. You could go straight to IAA mm -hmm. to to report uh, us or probably any other license advisor. Now, so basically that's what we do. We, we look at your qualification, then from there we tell you what would be the best type of mm -hmm. visa application and then you decide afterwards. Okay. On the average, how long does it take if somebody is qualified to you know, study there? Okay, if we're talking about um, studying in, in New Zealand, um, normal processing time would be about 7 to 20 working days. Oh, really? So that, yeah, yeah it, it's just um, a small amount of time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're wanting to go to New Zealand by this year, mm -hmm. yes, it's easier for you to go. Uh, there are a lot, um, especially, let's say, with, um, with our partner schools, mm -hmm. the International Academy of New Zealand, they have an intake every month mm. so every month they can join the the start of the class so um now with with, with if we're pertaining to another type of ap application it really depends if we're talking about migration it it's between two to three years mm. so um when you go to the office you know it the particular application for you is being discussed mm. because it it varies from um certain um, situation of the applicant. Okay. Yeah. For those who would like to study, what are the initial documents that they need to submit to those mm -hmm. who would like, let's say, to study? What are the documents, initial documents? For those who are wanting to study, we, for us to obtain a, an offer from the school, we need to get your qualification, mm -hmm. which is um, your diploma in um, transcript of records. And then since um, you know, um, Filipinos are very known with in terms of English language. Mm -hmm. um, we IELTS is not really a requirement because many viewers right. might be asking if IELTS is a requirement. So, um, depending on the course, but then you could just submit an English um, uh, copy of certificate from the school or, or your work, and that would suffice the English requirement. Okay. Now I understand, Katrina, that you're based in New Zealand, no? What is the advantage of, let's say, choosing New Zealand uh, from other countries if somebody would like to, say, immigrate or study? Mm -hmm. Okay. Many um, are asking 
those those yeah. questions um, about you know what does New Zealand can offer. Um, if I am to 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 compare, probably New Zealand, Australia, Canada would would be offering most likely the same benefits. Mm -hmm. But then um, since New Zealand is you know um, is a blossoming country, mm -hmm. there are a lot more opportunities. As um, there are only about four point uh, four point. 4.5 to 4.8 million uh, in terms of population in New Zealand and um, so there are a lot more opportunities in terms of career in terms of um, environment so for Filipinos it would be a, a big advantage uh, especially there are areas that they are actually looking of, of um, expanding now um, in terms of security yeah, safety. Yeah, New Zealand is number one. They are the least corrupt country, and uh, they are the uh, one of the safest country to live in. So, are there a lot of opportunities for our nursing graduates? Uh, let's say also for the uh, home care, you know, uh, specialist. Mm -hmm. Are there opportunities for them, more nurses? Okay, for healthcare, um, f in particular, if we're talking about nurses. Yes, um, there are a lot more opportunities for you, but then if you want to work as a nurse in, in New Zealand, you must um, qualify with their registration, and that would entail that you must have um, a two years work experience mm -hmm. in the Philippines, okay. and then um, a, a bachelor's degree plus a registration mm -hmm. with uh, with a PRC. Now the questions with what we with probably with our viewers it's hard to find a job in the Philippines mm. in terms of mm. um, getting, yes, right. yes. No, but the, the good thing about New Zealand, there are a lot more options. If you cannot meet that, that requirement, probably an entry for you would be uh, as a student, mm. wherein um, you could, um, uh, the, the, the thing is IANZ or the International mm. Academy of New Zealand offers a healthcare, a mm. management healthcare program wherein they could work in a healthcare industry, not particularly as a nurse, but then um, out of it, they could gain the residency, okay. which is their long-term you know, sure. goal, yeah. Okay. So there's a way, huh? yeah. There's always a way. Right. So. What about for skilled workers, like welders, like construction workers? Are there opportunities for that one? Yes, especially right now that Christchurch, probably everybody knows about Christchurch mm, because of the earthquake. earthquake. Yeah. Um, since Christchurch is being rebuilt as of the moment, mm. there are a lot more opportunities in terms of trades, mm. uh, engineers, mm -hmm. in, in particular area. And not only actually, w in terms of ag agriculture, mm. since New Zealand is a number one dairy exporter, right. there are also opportunities. But then, depending particularly where in New Zealand. Mm. Um, both of our office with, with IANZ and, and NZHS, we are located in Auckland, mm. but then if you're wanting to um, move, let's say, in mm. Christchurch or um, out, uh, an, in outskirt mm. in New Zealand, you could do so. It, it's not a problem. Mm. In fact, there are opportunities um, in the suburb, but then depending on your background here in the, in the Philippines. Okay. Yeah. How long does it normally take to fly from Manila to New Zealand? Um, there is no um, direct flight no flight from from the from Manila, Manila. to to New Zealand, but then um, it's most likely a um, a thirteen hour flight. 13 hours. Yeah, okay. so going to to New Zealand, they said that. It's actually far. Mm -hmm. Probably one of your view viewers wouldn't know where New Zealand right. is, but it sometimes um, they even ask us, "Is it part of Australia?" Right. But it's actually, New Zealand is not part of Australia. Right. Right. Um, if you look at the globe, it's actually mm -hmm. underneath. So um, mo most of the people mm -hmm. doesn't recognize or even know where right. New Zealand is. Do we have a large Filipino community in New Zealand? Um, in actually in Auckland, okay. there are lots of uh, Filipinos. Uh, if I am not mistaken, there are about forty-five thousand Filipinos in in Auckland. In fact, we are the fourth largest uh, migrants in New Zealand. Mm. So um, you do not have to be afraid, because if even if you walk in mm. the city, in the city center, you will meet a lot of Filipinos so already. Definitely, there must be a Filipino store there. Uh, Filipino yeah. Filipino. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So for those watching us, how can they get in touch with you if they say they want to make some inquiries? Okay. Um, 
for those of you who are interested to migrate probably to study or work in New Zealand you can uh, definitely visit our website for especially for those um, Bicolanos we have um, an, an office here it's located actually at the back of the CBD Plaza Hotel uh, it's actually at Unit 2 CBD building it's along Ninoy and Cory Aquino Avenue now um, for those who are listening through Ustream or um, any other media uh, networks, you can visit our website at www.nzimmigrationhelpservice.com. And um, we usually held seminars, oh, seminars. Uh, yeah, okay. every um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday mm -hmm. here, at, here at Naga and um, um, in our different branches all over the Philippines. Is that free if somebody yeah. would like to attend the seminar? Yes, definitely. It's a free mm -hmm. seminar. So the seminar is actually an eye-opener yes. for oh. those who are wanting to know more about New Zealand. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll flash perhaps the contact number yes. on for those. So what is your message to all the Bicolanos watching us? What's your message? Um, sa mga Bicolano, uh, there's always a way, you know, if you are wanting to go to New Zealand, definitely there's always a legal way, you know, do not be deceived by, by money or probably the easiest way, but then could harm you in the long run. Um, you, could, you could go to the experts if you, much better that you go through a licensed immigration advisor. Now, being a migrant and being, um, being with migrants, myself you know we want to share um, the benefits that we are actually enjoying living in New Zealand you know we want you to see we want to help Filipinos and we want to see you there in New Zealand okay so there you are you heard Katrina if you have any uh, questions you'd like to know more about uh, New Zealand just get in touch with the office thank you very much Katrina. thank you very much Mr. Fred thank you